All right, let's do my little scorps. My scorps, scorps. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the big blue house. Okay, I have a feeling they're gonna be banging any minute, banging away. Okay, look at all that color. You guys must be vibing the color right now. Um, so I hope it's not too much of a distraction. I wanted to bang these out for you. Okay, it took long enough, so let's going on with my scorps, my scorps, my scorps, my scorps. I forgot to turn those for everybody else. Let's find out what's going on with you guys. So good morning, good morning. Ooh, I like it, I like it. Let's start here. I haven't used this one before, this music. Let's see how it works for me. Let's see how it works for me. Scorps, my little Scorpios, first half of July. Ooh, ooh, January 2019. Holy cow. All right, we got the death card and the four of cups. The pence. I haven't seen that sucker come out yet. Judgment. They want to flop out of my hands. They want to flop out of my hands like a fish out of a cup. Holy cow. We got land animals. Holy cow. I want that one too. Oh, and look at those two popped out too. Okay. All right. All right. Let me just. You got a whole bunch of extras. You got some extras. What are you guys extra today? What are you guys extra? Let me do my math. Let me do my math. You guys are kind of snail, snail slow right now. I feel super slow. Wow, okay. Same as the Aquarius. That happened yesterday with two of them, too. All right, so same as my Aquarians. All right, it's very protective energy. It's it's healing energy, wanting to heal, trying to heal from something. Um, it just, obviously, it's not on my board, so it hasn't come up yet. But they want you to be responsible. They want you to be loving. You might have to sacrifice. You are a very loyal person. You are fair, which makes sense because the Empress would be fair. Okay. Some type of contract, whether it's work or a partnership. Um, but this talks about your stability. All right. Having strength. Standing up for your beliefs, that intuition. Okay. Um, making precise decisions. And the Empress does make precise decisions all right so what this is telling me is that you went through a transformation or you got strong cappy in your chart okay this is a lifetime commitment contract whatever you're dealing with you either want forgiveness or somebody wants it from you is that is that new start somebody wants a new start with the empress whether this is you or somebody else's energy because i feel at least three or four energies here so i'm really not sure what that's all about um so i definitely feel like you're taking things slow right now that's that that slow energy that you know but the they want you to move forward and have a new start it's like taking that leap of faith and, and going 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 to me in order for you to go you have to forgive somebody or forgive yourself for something it's all linked you know because it's having me go this way you want that new start you, you know you gotta take that initiative to move forward you have to forgive or somebody else has to forgive. And you're kind of like, ugh, don't fuck with me. You know, this hermit is, is more, it's that DACA energy. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is some tough energy to work with, but you guys can handle it. Yeah, my scorps. 
you, it's that, it's also that mythological energy that Scorps love, okay? So to me, it's like, you kind of don't have a problem with it, but you're kind of smutty. You're kind of smutty about something right now. You're just kind and it's not being bent out of shape. It's, it's more, a little bit of an attitude. I got attitude on my board. Like, you want a new start? You're content. And then somebody, or you, there's some type of offer you're not going to be content with. Because you're already content. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying, yo? Tell me about this death card. Push through this energy, okay? Push through, push through, push through. It's that two of wands, get, getting on your path, getting going, okay? Leaving the past behind. I think you're resonating with blue. Um, making that decision to go. It's that possibilities. So you're a little apprehensive. Whatever situation ship that's going on right now, and if it hasn't happened, it's going to. You're worried. You don't know what to do. Do I take the offer? You're so content. So let's see what this three of pence is all about. Well, this is what's happening with you now, that contentness, all right? Multitasking, teamwork, contracts, getting things done. But you're kind of angry like you want to sting, all right? So it, it's, it's regarding a new contract with love, all right? It's that fish that wants to flop out that I told you about. You know, I think you put it, look how big that puff of fish is up there. I, I think, I think you've, you've already dealt with this situation before. It'll be coming around the corner when it comes. It'll be coming around the corner when it comes. She'll be riding three white horses, six white horses, something, something. She'll be coming around the corner when it comes. So, it's an opportunity that's coming. You're going to like it. You're going to like it. But you're thinking you're not. Tell me about judgment. This is being worried. Is somebody going to judge you? Or this person coming in thinks you're going to judge them? All right. It's, it's the finding the balance, meshing the energies. So I don't know if this is the other person or you guys. To me, this is you guys. Because you're content. So to me, I don't know, this This speaks of different energy. I don't know if it's universal, if it's you're already in a relationship and you're kind of struggling. But if you give it another go, it looks like it will be okay. But somebody's got to lose their tood. Somebody's got to lose their tood. Tell me about the chariot. Yeah, it's... I don't... It's moving forward. And you're not going to want to. You're like, I'm content. I'm content. <laughs> Tell me about the fool. So, I, you know, I, I don't know what you're going to do. Will you take that new start? The opportunity's here. All right. Four pence. Ah, you're holding on to that tood. And this has to do with love. Okay. So you're holding on strong to that tood. That is for sure. Let the attitude go. Damn, damn, that's like a floppy fish right there. You're like, eh, someone makes you nervous. I can feel it. I can feel it. I feel it coming. I feel it coming. So you guys feel this shit. This is clear as day to you guys. But it is, at the same time, it's a whole lot of complication. Find that balance with the star. This where it didn't want to cut. Okay, find that balance. All right, it's the nine of water. Your wishes are about to come true. Concerns or whatever's going on in your love life right now will fade away. This is a new love life. It's, you know, and I think you're just content right over here. You're going to be super apprehensive. Bottom of the deck, we got the seven and the three of air. See what I'm saying? So plans, certain plans need to be re revisioned, okay? Because um, it doesn't include love right now. All right, there's more than meets the eye. When this person comes in, 
it or you're going out, it, it is kind of poor timing. But I think it's because of your attitude. All right, you need to heal. You need to forgive yourself or you need to forgive others. Okay. You're going to be content. But right now, you're like, no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I, I don't, I don't want the cup. <laughs> oh my goodness. Lose the tood. Lose the tood. Easier said than done. Is that what you're saying? Easier said than done? I feel it coming. You feel this shit. You feel it coming. You know, maybe that's why you're angry. Because you're like, now? Now? What's their lesson here? What's my little Scorps lessons here? Ooh, here they come. Here they come. I can hear their little, their little machine getting lift up, lift off the ground. Yeah, I know you want to throw me a whole bunch, but I just want one. I just want one. Okay. They want a whole bunch. Imagination, friendship, worry. All right, it's that special friendship. This person's here for a reason, and, and it's like you know it, but you're still not happy. It, it's more, it's more of that worry. So that is your worry, okay? Or it's the other person, because we all got all aspects in our chart. But to me, it is you're a little worried, all right? But you need to embrace what your mind is saying. Go and create. The Empress definitely knows how to create, okay? But this is a very special bond you have with somebody. But you got a tood. You got a tood. So let's. I'm going to pull you a Ganesha card. It's going to tell you where you're at or where you're going or what it's going to be for the next couple weeks. What's going on with my Scorps? My Scorps, my Scorps, my Scorps. I don't know. Maybe you guys should go listen to Fergie. Maybe Fergie can uh, get you a little pep in your step or something. I feel it coming. You feel this shit coming, but you're like, eh, eh. okay. Yeah, yeah, you're about to get enlightened. All right, you got that inner knowing. See, I told you, I feel it coming. My scorps know this stuff. My scorps know, you know, and it's the eight. So, and the eight is all about something coming soon. You don't need that heads up I just gave you. What you need is that balance, okay? And good judgment right now is what you need. So, I just went to the eight. It's the promise of the future, but you need the inner knowing. All right. Have you had a place inside that holds your most significant answers right now? Have you found it? Do you have it? Within each of us lies an intuitive knowing, motivation, and ideas of the present. Yet, untapped into this space within us, the spark of the divine waits patiently for you to tune in and receive the guidance. This is the time for soul searching with that hermit at the bottom of the deck and you didn't want to. You know what I'm saying? So, soul search. You're in a phase of introspect where you're drawing your attention and focus inward and looking for guidance within. You have a strong need to understand, not at a surface level, but what's actually unfolding. You have access to the inner knowing and the truth, to the acceptance you seek within. This is perfect time to take a step back from your day-to-day -day and deeply contemplate your motivations, your personal principles and values. Seek the truth. Work with Ganesha to see through all things, especially meditation, consideration, and self-assessment. The opportunity to evaluate your direction and personal goals wait for you. Your priorities may shift and develop a deeper purpose. This is an opportunity for some much-needed alone time to figure out what you want. And it's, it's the card, okay? It's, it's you know. But you got that, you got that attitude. You know, this is a light partner. This is this is somebody you know. And at one time you wanted it, and now you're like, so I don't know what my little scorps went through, but you went through a lot because right now you're like, damn, damn, you're back, you're back. But don't kid yourselves. You knew that shit was coming back around. She'll be coming around the corner when she comes. All right. And what was the other one? I feel it coming. All right, it says feelings are mutual, so work harder. So that's what it was last year. All right, but something happened. I th You might have worked harder and failed. So you took your concentration elsewhere. Okay, but you, you know it. 
you know what this person can bring or what the two of you can create as clear as day. If you haven't been enlightened yet, because that was at the bottom of the deck, you will. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, the seven and the three of air. How ironic is that? Because Aquarius had the same thing and you had the same numbers as the Aquarian. This is why spirit has me going in a certain direction. They had the same exact two effing cards, guys. Okay. It's, it's that communication. It's It's opening up. Okay, so you need to change how you're thinking when it comes to this. Unless you got strong Aquarian in your chart too because it's the same damn message. Attitude and theirs, their ego was in the way. Okay, so their, their and ego is attitude too. But this is more like whatever. Alright, it's going to take time to heal. You're going to have to forgive this person or you. All right. What was your lesson? Oh, yeah. You had three of them. Is that creating something new? Okay. Um, oh, Mingyu. Yeah. It's tough. You got multiple energies all up on the board. The divine is here. Can you push through? Can you take the leap of faith? Can you release what needs to be released? It's going to be a tough decision for you. I'm not sure if you want it. It's like that. It's like you do and you don't. You know, you're so content now. You, you know, it's like I'm done stinging. Been there, done that. You left. <sighs> you're harboring. Works good. It's, it's this new stock that's coming in. You're like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Lose the tude. Lose the tude. The, the love is here. There's temperance too. It's going to be healing time. You are dealing with an emperor type energy. But again, I already said that. You kind of got a life partner here. You pulled friendship. You know? It's that twin card. It's the life partner. You're like, for realsies? But you guys know what this is. Like I said, you feel it coming. So, there's that. I love you guys. Bye.